and welcome to the new indian express online i'm bansi kalapa with me is former union minister and a very uh, well known uh, politician from karnataka mr jairam ramesh mr ramesh first of all mr amit shah union minister has said that if the congress comes to power there will be communal disturbances and riots that's a very serious observation to make how do you respond sir we filed an fir this morning mm -hmm. mr dk shivkumar mr surjewala have uh, filed an fir mm -hmm. this is not just hate speech this is threat speech this mm -hmm. is intimidatory speech mm -hmm. and it's a speech unbecoming mm -hmm. of the home minister mm -hmm. but i am not surprised because mm -hmm. uh, this home minister's predecessor india's first union home minister sardar patel mm -hmm. was the man who banned the rss after the assassination of mahatma gandhi mm -hmm. and that ban continued for a couple of years mm -hmm. uh, so you know it's ironic that this man is going to be making such statements it's clearly incitement mm -hmm. and you know i've described this as amit shah's four eyes strategy incite inflame uh insult and intimidate mm -hmm. all four mm -hmm. you know during election campaigns many things are said mm -hmm. uh and many things are taken mm -hmm. but this from coming from the home minister of india mm -hmm. is provocation this mm -hmm. just provokes is provoking mm -hmm. and this is part of the it's not an accidental statement mm -hmm. it's part of the bjp strategy mm -hmm. because they know they're going to be losing this election mm -hmm. so do your best to polarize society mm -hmm. on some issue or the other and this they found the communal riot issue mm -hmm. uh, so if you see the bharatiya janata party really many people ask me how come mm -hmm. there are no communal riots with the bjp is in power mm -hmm. my answer to that is mm -hmm. the guys who engineer the communal riots are the bjp mm -hmm. when they are not in power mm -hmm. when they are in power they won't need to incite the communal riots if you look at the history of communal riots over mm -hmm. the last 70 75 years is mm -hmm. the rss and the bjp mm -hmm. that has been at the root of all these communal disturbances going back to the jabalpur riots mm -hmm. of the early 1960s okay. also when you look at the bharatiya janata party's campaign over the past few days they definitely looking more colorful more potent than the congress what is it that is lacking in the congress no, campaign i i respectfully disagree with you mm -hmm. they are not looking colorful mm -hmm. and potent mm -hmm. they are looking insulting mm -hmm. they are looking provocatory mm -hmm. they are looking intimidatory mm -hmm. of course the clothes that mr amit shah wears and the prime minister wears mm -hmm. very very colorful mm -hmm. they wear colorful clothes mm -hmm. you know our leaders are either dressed in white Simple. kurta pajama or white t-shirt or you know mm -hmm. simple sarees mm -hmm. or simple sarwars kameez mm -hmm. it's it's colorful in terms of dress mm -hmm. but in terms of language in mm -hmm. terms of content mm -hmm. in terms of substance mm -hmm. i'm afraid uh, it's got nothing it's it's a clear indication of despair and desperation mm -hmm. it's only when you when you know that you are on your way out mm -hmm. that you resort to such tactics okay you say desperation but has congress been able to cash in on this anti incumbency because in many areas it looks like congress has failed to cash in on that anti incumbency no i don't think so mm -hmm. i think you know uh, i spent 22 days in karnataka during the bharat jyotra mm -hmm. chamrajnagar mysore mm -hmm. mandya tumkur mm -hmm. chitradurga bellari mm -hmm. raju seven districts mm -hmm. and this spontaneous outburst of goodwill and mm -hmm. uh, affection and support mm -hmm. that i saw myself mm -hmm. uh, you know walking throughout almost 500 odd kilometers mm -hmm. for 22 days it was very clear earlier there was the mega dhatu march yeah absolutely and also evoked a huge popular response mm -hmm. now if you look at the public response that uh, the congress president mm -hmm. karge ji is getting the public response rahul gandhi is getting the public mm -hmm. response priyanka gandhi ji is getting and of course mm -hmm. it goes without saying the public response that mr sidaramaiah mm -hmm. and uh, dk shivkumar are getting mm -hmm. uh, see we are not banking just on the anti incumbency i'd mm -hmm. like to correct you on mm -hmm. that there is nothing automatic about into anti incumbency in india i think the anti incumbency works when you present an alternative to the people mm -hmm. when you present a constructive program to the people mm -hmm. for the last 5 months mm -hmm. this has never happened before in congress history mm -hmm. 
What happens in Congress is we usually issue a manifesto at the last minute mm -hmm. and our programs then try mm -hmm. to get propagated. Which is what but happened in the case of Nyai. In the case of Nyai, if Absolutely. you remember, in the very last minute, yeah, it very came. Last minute. yeah. Mm -hmm. for the last four months, mm -hmm. we have been talking of uh, Gra Jyoti, we are talking of Gra Lakshmi, we are talking of Manna Bhagya, mm -hmm. we are talking of Yuvanidhi. Mm -hmm. These are the four guarantees that mm -hmm. we are saying. And these four but guarantees... But has it percolated to the last minute? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think people, more and more people I speak to, people mm -hmm. are saying, guarantee money, guarantee money, mm -hmm. guarantee, guarantee money. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's, you know, uh, as I said, uh, the BJP is a formidable election machine. Absolutely, these are, these are formidable campaigners who mm -hmm. will you know who will resort to any tactic mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to ensure that you know they win the election. So mm -hmm. I'm not overconfident. I'm not mm -hmm. complacent, mm -hmm. but I do feel that people are ready for change. Mm -hmm. They just want a change. Mm -hmm. Is is uh, you know for example, Bharatiya Janata Party is saying defeat Shetter. And you know that that's a very uh, strong statement to make. Now Shetter has moved over to the Congress, and while Congress is internally very pleased with this, uh, you know, does it intimidate you that when you say someone who has moved out of the BJP defeat him? Now, that, that, does that scare you? No, no, it's not. You see, this is what you would say in Canada, manasika mm -hmm. lava. Mm -hmm. You know, the psychological advantage mm -hmm. is with the Congress. Okay. What has happened is the BJP is rattled. The mm -hmm. BJP got rattled after the Bharat Jodo. Mm -hmm. The BJP is rattled after the Congress campaign, mm -hmm. and I think it's these are all signs of being rattled. Mm -hmm. Did did they expect that they would lose a chief minister, a former chief minister, a mm -hmm. former deputy chief minister? Mm -hmm. Did they expect this level of dissidence to overtake them? This is a level of dissidence that you normally associate with the Congress party Absolutely. in the previous in election. the past yes in the past mm -hmm. uh, you know rebels, independents, mm -hmm. yeah. so on. This time. Mm -hmm. This image of a disciplined party mm -hmm. has been shattered, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and obviously, uh, you know, the whole atmospherics mm -hmm. this time mm -hmm. has not been with the BJP. The psychological advantage mm -hmm. has been with the Congress. Mm -hmm. The level of dissidence that has, uh, you know, that has taken over in the BJP even mm -hmm. till today, mm -hmm. you know, not it's only Shetter and some of the other big high yeah, profile the big ones, yeah. but there have been large number yes. of people. I myself. Admitted uh, B. L. Rani Samyukta, mm -hmm. uh, you know, member of the national executive mm -hmm. of the BJP, mm -hmm. a couple of days back mm -hmm. uh, into the Congress. So mm -hmm. many hundreds of people have joined us. Mm -hmm. So it's the psychological advantage. And also, let me tell you, I use the index demand for tickets as an index. Mm -hmm. We had on an average mm -hmm. eight to ten people demanding tickets mm -hmm. for each of the two hundred and twenty-four constituencies in the assembly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that shows mm -hmm. a level of uh, confidence, that shows a level of mm -hmm. expectation mm -hmm. from the Congress party, mm -hmm. uh, which I have not seen mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the last couple of years. Okay. Now, you know, in 2018, mm -hmm. uh, we were the uh, incumbent government. Absolutely. We had a large number of uh, excellent programs, mm -hmm. but we also had a large number of emotive issues that came in at the last Absolutely. Time. Tipu Sultan became an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lingayat Linga religion became a separate issue. Mm -hmm. This time around, mm -hmm. the Congress has run a disciplined campaign. Mm -hmm. It's run a local campaign. Mm -hmm. It's be, it, it's run a non-divisive campaign. Mm -hmm. Of course, we still have another you know twelve to fifteen days. What mm -hmm. eight plus another four, four mm -hmm. twelve days of campaigning left. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Modi and Yogi Adityanath and Amit Shah are going to harp on mm -hmm. uh, you know the divisive issues. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. uh, the Congress. Uh, the Congress has taken one thing that Mr. Modi has said very seriously, mm -hmm. vocal for local. Mm -hmm. So we've been very vocal when it comes to local. Mm -hmm. If you look at, uh, you know, the number of visits the Prime Minister of India comes to Karnataka, the number of visits of Union Home Minister, number of visits of Nadda, Yogi, or UP Chief Minister, you know, high-pitched vocal campaigns. How do you respond to this? You know, the impact of this, sheer impact of this, because they say wherever Modi goes, there is a change in motion no, no, for the party. The BJP party. has always been a party of hype. Mm -hmm. You know, they always hype up things. Everything mm -hmm. becomes high profile. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the masters of headlines. Mm -hmm. They are the ma Mr. Advani mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Mr. Modi mm -hmm. brilliant in event management. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so these are all events for them. Mm-hmm. So I am not surprised mm-hmm. uh, that you know all their cabinet ministers have been you know mm-hmm. external mm-hmm. affairs minister is going mm-hmm. to Kabul Park, Absolutely. talking to walkers in Kabul mm-hmm. Park. Uh, somebody Smriti Rani is going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Rajnath Singh is going somewhere. Mm-hmm. But but the real two people who mm-hmm. matter in mm-hmm. terms of public appeal mm-hmm. uh, as somebody uh, you know who's fighting them mm-hmm. uh, electorally. Uh, as I see them, are really the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of UP. Mm-hmm. Everybody else are basically team players, they're mm-hmm. hangers on. Mm-hmm. They come, they say something, they mm-hmm. some spout some nonsense venom and go back. Mm-hmm. Even a sober man mm-hmm. like Mr. Rajnath Singh, mm-hmm. whom I you know, mm-hmm. whom I respect, uh, very sober, very dignified, even mm-hmm. he is reduced mm-hmm. uh, you know, to mouthing nonsensical statements that have Absolutely. been written for him. Absolutely. But Absolutely. the real people who matter, Mm-hmm. The real campaign really begins, mm-hmm. in my view, on the mm-hmm. 29th mm-hmm. when the Prime Minister comes. And, mm-hmm. You know, Yogi has come to mm-hmm. Mandya. Mm-hmm. But all my feedback is mm-hmm. that he may have generated the headlines, mm-hmm. but they were not, the crowds were not there. Mm-hmm. The expectation of mobilizing of people was mm-hmm. not there. But he certainly has got the headlines because he speaks mm-hmm. in a very divisive and polarizing language. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, uh, you know, coming back to this, since you have served as Union uh, Minister for Environment and Forest, I have to push in this one academic question. Karnataka has suffered, you know, one is the forest cover has shrunk, you know, as there is a complaint. Also, the Western Ghats, fragile Western Ghats, there has been a lot of, you know, local sentiment that Congress isn't doing enough to raise these issues, you know. I mean, that is a sentiment that I would strongly disagree with. Mm-hmm. Because we've been consistently raising this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was the environment minister. Mm-hmm. In fact, I was criticized for raising it too much. Mm-hmm. You know, in the, on the Western Ghats issue, for mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. Uh, many people criticized me in the state, mm-hmm. saying that I've maybe gone to the other extreme. You yourself are from the Western Ghats. Yeah. And, uh, I was born in the Western Ghats. Yeah, Gats. in the Western Ghats. So yeah. first I appointed the Madhav Ghat Gill Commission. Then mm-hmm. there was this Kasturi Rangan, Kasturi Rangan uh, exercise. Even that has been left mm-hmm. incomplete. Mm-hmm. See, Karnataka is ecologically, mm-hmm. it's economically of course, you know, mm-hmm. there's no question, you Absolutely. need economic growth. Mm-hmm. But fact of the matter is, it's mm-hmm. in an ecologically fragile area. Absolutely. You need to bring environment uh, and development together. You see the mm-hmm. floods you mm-hmm. had in your own region of Kul yes, yes, a couple yes. of years ago. Absolutely. Uh, the landslides, the flooding, yes. mm-hmm. uh, of course the deforestation and the mm-hmm. climate change mm-hmm. that has overtaken us, which are all realities. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, this is the real double engine you need. Mm-hmm. The double engine of environment and development. Absolutely. The double engine of environment and social harmony. Absolutely. The double engine of growth and social harmony. Mm-hmm. But what the BJP does is mm-hmm. promises the double engine of the illusion of growth mm-hmm. and social polarization mm-hmm. and social divisiveness mm-hmm. of the other. Mm-hmm. But of course, the only, uh, only campaign that the Prime Minister has is mm-hmm. elected double engine government. Which means same government in Delhi and same mm-hmm. government in uh, uh, you know Karnataka. Mm-hmm. This goes against the very concept of cooperative federalism. Mm-hmm. Let me give you an example from Karnataka. Mm-hmm. In 1984, mm-hmm. Karnataka gave Mr. Rajiv Gandhi mm-hmm. 27 out of 28 Lok Sabha seats. Mm-hmm. Which was reversed. In March of 1985, mm-hmm. the same Karnataka mm-hmm. gave Mr. Ramakrishna Hegde and the Janta Dalal yeah. 134 seats out of 224 seats. Yes. Mr. Rajiv Gandhi didn't say that, you know, you have elected JDS in the mm-hmm. center mm-hmm. state, mm-hmm. you have elected the Congress and I am not going to work with Mr. Hegde. Absolutely. In fact, he learned from Mr. Hegde. Mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. coming to Karnataka at that time to mm-hmm. meet Mr. Abdul Nazir Saab mm-hmm. because we were told by the Prime Minister, mm-hmm. go and see what Karnataka government is doing in the matter of panchayats. Okay. Go and see what they are doing in the matter of democratic decentralization. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi never said, you know, double engine government, elect mm-hmm. a government in the state. Same state in the guns. No. Mm-hmm. And the people elected differently Absolutely. within a space of four months. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, coming back to a political question, there has been a lot of criticism of Congress infighting, uh, you know, from the media, from, you know, different quarters. So, how do you respond to this issue? Is there an issue? And, uh, you know, how do you deal with this? See, first, we are a democratic party. Mm-hmm. We don't have mm-hmm. a dictatorial high command. Mm-hmm. We have a high command, it is not a dictatorial or an authoritarian high command. Mm-hmm. We are a democratic party. Mm-hmm. We are a party where people express their views freely. Mm-hmm. 
we are a party that expresses the views freely and publicly mm. we go to the media and mm. social media print mm. media electronic media mm. but ultimately mm. see this is a party that does not run Mm-hmm. on one man's whim or mm-hmm. one man's fancy Absolutely. or one man's authority. it is a consensus based party mm-hmm. there are people with ambitions mm-hmm. there are different groups mm-hmm. there are different interest groups mm-hmm. no doubt mm-hmm. and i think frankly ultimately mm-hmm. a collective will prevails mm-hmm. right now we are fighting mm-hmm. not to elect an individual mm-hmm. we are fighting to elect a party elections in india mm-hmm. are not a beauty contest between individuals mm-hmm. elections in india are choice between mm-hmm. political parties mm-hmm. which have symbols manifestos mm-hmm. programs mm-hmm. and so on. we don't elect chief ministers Absolutely. we don't elect prime ministers we yes. elect parties mm-hmm. parties elect chief ministers mm-hmm. so i i think frankly mm-hmm. see also mm-hmm. media is in need of masala mm-hmm. unity is no masala mm-hmm. two congress leaders differing with each other is masala mm-hmm. so you add the little mirch little chili mm-hmm. and it then you know you give it incentive to grow also okay so i am not holding you responsible mm-hmm. you know they can't be smoke without fire absolutely so there is something going on mm-hmm. there are people with different points of view mm-hmm. but i think this time this time mm-hmm. let me say this this time the level of cohesiveness the level of solidarity that the party is shown mm-hmm. one thing is very clear look at the level of dissidence we have mm-hmm. much less than what is normally associated with the congress absolutely have you seen any congress leader go off tangent mm-hmm. uh, in terms of messaging mm-hmm. so far they have not mm-hmm. and this will continue i am sure mm-hmm. so i you know uh, i'm not denying mm-hmm. the existence why of different I, voices i'm not denying why i ask you this question is because congress is perhaps the only party which is so potent and has demonstrated the capability to destroy itself <laughs> yeah i mean i wouldn't yeah i think i don't underestimate our yeah. ability to score self goals absolutely I agree. we we score goals also uh, and but self-goals. we also occasionally you know make an effort to score a self goal yeah. i agree yeah. in the past we have done it yes but uh, you know I look at it this way. I look at it as a healthy mm-hmm. existence of diverse points of view in a party. Mm-hmm. We are a party where people speak openly, mm-hmm. and sometimes when I am speaking to you, the world is knowing what I am speaking. That mm-hmm. is what the Congress Party is. You know? mm-hmm. So we don't. There is no censorship. There is no uh, subordination. There mm-hmm. is no authoritarian pressure saying that. you must say all this mm-hmm. let me give you an example mm-hmm. social media mm-hmm. right you find on the same issue you will find four congress leaders mm-hmm. giving variations on a theme mm-hmm. in the bjp the same message given out by one leader word for word full stop for full stop comma for comma will get repeated what does it show mm-hmm. what does it show mm-hmm. to a, to a layman it shows that one person is controlling mm-hmm. the not only the generation of content mm-hmm. but also the distribution of content mm-hmm. that is not possible in the congress party mm-hmm. and i frankly the reason why it's not possible in the congress party mm-hmm. is because we reflect the diversity of india mm-hmm. we reflect in many ways the the nature of indian society mm-hmm. which is you know people have different points of view people have different aspirations mm-hmm. people want to speak out mm-hmm. you know on on a level of intelligence this congress score poorly against the bjp i'll tell you why intelligence yeah I, i'm talking of sheer In intelligence uh, about the other party yeah, yeah let me put it like this you know when shekhar moved out of bharatiya janata party the narrative there was this man has enjoyed all position cm position party president position opposition leader and here he is moving out congress didn't have a suitable counter to that narrative so do you think on ground no, zero congress level of you know countering bharatiya janata party there is something lacking no no that's not true we countered we had enough what is your counter there is nothing we know we had the counter of a senior senior leader senior uh, chief minister lingayat leader person who brings in 30 35 seats around him we mm-hmm. had that counter i mean mm-hmm. but yeah see who controls the medium mm-hmm. controls the message mm-hmm. the medium is controlled by the bjp you know 
So, barring few exceptions, mm -hmm. the medium is controlled completely by the BJP and therefore mm -hmm. they are able to control the narrative. But I wouldn't say they have been very successful. Mm -hmm. For five and a half months, mm -hmm. they tried to destroy the narrative of the Bharat Juno Yatra. They mm -hmm. could not because mm -hmm. we had a potent narrative. Mm -hmm. They have been trying to uh, you know, demean and, and insult and mm -hmm. devalue the guarantee, the four guarantees that mm -hmm. uh, Sidramaya and Shiv Kumar and Kargiji and all mm -hmm. have come out with. That has not succeeded. Mm -hmm. So, I, in terms of messaging, mm -hmm. if you are telling me that the, con the BJP is more aggressive. Uh, and more convincing. No, I wouldn't say they're convincing. I would mm -hmm. say they're more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yes, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, they take more extreme positions. Mm -hmm. They're more divisive. Mm -hmm. They're more polarizing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wouldn't say they are convincing. I'm not sure, sure, but I would no. In fact, mm -hmm. definitely not. I wouldn't say that they're convincing. Mm -hmm. Because Shetter's own statement that he's been slighted, that he's been insulted, this statement is almost being lost in the clamor of, you know, we've given him everything. No, I mean, I've, I've seen this statement. Mm -hmm. I have seen the BJP's response to his departure. Mm -hmm. I have seen what we said when he joined mm -hmm. us. Uh, so I wouldn't, uh, you know, we have we have nipped many uh, such statements of the BJP in the mm -hmm. world. I would, I think, uh, in fact, today, mm -hmm. any observer mm -hmm. uh, of the media scene will acknowledge mm -hmm. that the Congress is more aggressive than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. The Congress is more timely mm -hmm. because communication is very important in terms mm -hmm. of timeliness. Mm -hmm. We are much more timely than we are. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we are, I think, if you ask me personally, mm -hmm. we are a little more dignified and restrained in what we say. We still have some, for example, I have an internal Lakshman Rekha. Mm -hmm. I will not cross that. Okay. I will not cross that. I can't say the same thing about many union cabinet ministers. Mm -hmm. I certainly can't say the same thing about the prime minister. Yes. I can't say the same thing about the home minister. Of course, Amit Malivya, you cannot say it at all. Mm -hmm. So, I personally speaking, as general secretary communications, I have a certain internal Lakshman right. I think, you know, you must show at times some restraint, some dignity. We are a 137 year old party. Mm -hmm. We build the party of governance mm -hmm. at the center and the states. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we cannot stoop to the level. Mm -hmm. I mean, today the prime minister has used the suicide note of a girl mm -hmm. to mock suicide. Mm -hmm. I think Congress would ever do this. Mm -hmm. No, we have taken, we, we have criticized the prime minister. Mm -hmm. But had a congressman done this, mm -hmm. the BJP would have gone to town with that, right? But just, I'm just giving you an example. Today's example, mm -hmm. he goes to Republic TV, uses a suicide note of a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, father is reading that suicide note and he's mocking mm -hmm. uh, that suicide note, the writer of that suicide note, mm -hmm. who's made some spelling mistake. Mm -hmm. And he's praising Arnab Goswami mm -hmm. for having learnt Hindi. What a bizarre mindset. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of when he was asked in an interview, mm -hmm. did you feel sad when, uh, you know, Muslims were killed, uh, minorities are killed in communal riots. And you remember his famous mm -hmm. reply mm -hmm. some 10, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. He said, if you're traveling in a car and if a puppy comes in front of you and the puppy gets trampled, mm -hmm. you will feel sad. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister of India mm -hmm. using this type of language. Mm -hmm. No congressman will ever use this language. Thank you. Thank you. So there it is. Former Union Minister, Senior Congress Leader, Mr. Jairam Ramesh saying that uh, Congress uh, is more restrained in its responses. There is an internal Lakshman Rekha which it follows, like he says, it is done in his own case. With camera person, we know this is Bansi, the new Indian Express Online.